Taco is an open source large scale coding dataset released by Bai Shandong Normal University and Peking University. This dataset has been released under an Apache 2 license. However, the data also includes content licensed under other permissive licenses such as MIT and web crawl data. Taco is quite a unique dataset. Taco is not only open source with a focus on the optics of algorithms designed to provide a more challenging training dataset, but it is also act as evaluation benchmark in the field of coding generation models. Taco includes competition level programming questions that are more challenging to enhance or evaluate problem understanding and reasoning abilities in real world programming scenarios. There are approximately more than 25,000 and 1,000 coding problems in training and data, uh, test dataset as well as up to 1.55 million diverse solution answers. Moreover, each taco problem includes several fine-grained labels such as task topics, algorithms, programming skills, and difficulty levels, providing a more precise reference for the training and evaluation of code generation model. This dataset is available on Hugging Face and also there is a GitHub repo to which I will drop the link in video's description. That they also have a very nicely written paper which you can read through for free on Axiom and I will drop the link in video's description too. Now let me show you how you can uh, download, install and then do the model evaluation with the help of this uh, Taco dataset. Let me go to my Google Colab. So this is my free Google Colab. You can use any Jupyter notebook. Let's set the runtime to GPU which is free courtesy to Google. Let's import some of the prerequisite libraries like datasets and transformers. If you're just playing around with datasets, you don't need transformers, but I'm also going to show you how to do the evaluation with the model. So that's why I'm also downloading the transformers. Let's wait for it to download and get installed. Both modules are done. And now let me show you how you can download the dataset. So in this uh, code chunk, what I'm doing is I'm simply importing the uh, load dataset function from dataset. I'm setting the difficulty to easy and this is how we download the dataset. Let me run it. Now this difficulty <coughs> part is easy, uh, very interesting. This is primarily a fine grained label, which uh, each problem in the taco dataset includes this fine grained label. And then it sets a difficulty level. You can go with easy, medium, hard, and also you can go with all which will include all the difficulty levels. So you can see that it is downloading the data set at the moment. It is going to download few of the files here. So let's wait for this one to finish. Shouldn't take too long. And it has downloaded a lot of data files and now it is generating the train split which takes a bit of a time, but not too much. So let's wait for it to finish. The train split is done and now it is doing the test split, which is also done and the whole data set is downloaded. Now let's, uh, so this is what you need to do for the whole data set. Now, if you want to evaluate a model on this data set, then you need to follow other steps. So let's, let me show you how can you download the model and then evaluate it for this example i'm just going with this tiny llama chat one i am doing the usual stuff where i'm tokenizing uh, it with auto tokenizer and then setting the CUDA settings and this is going to set our model now this is not what i should be doing because this is a coding data set so i should be using a coding model such as llama code mistral code or any something like that but because um, I don't have that much disk space and I just want to show you how to do it. So that is why I'm using tiny llama. But if you are doing it in real world, I would highly suggest you don't go with any coding um, coding model here. So let's wait for tiny llama to be done. It's not that huge, so it should be done fairly quickly. Let's wait for it to finish. almost there so you can see that the how uh, small the size is so that should be done fairly quickly 
so model is done now let me paste the code from their github repo which is used to evaluate this model now what is happening in this code is is very simple actually they have just imported some of the libraries end of string so it will tell where exactly the sentences or strings are ending in the data set and then it is doing some sort of data massaging by truncating the end of strings and stuff and from from here just putting some of the random seed decoding the text and predicting the next value with the help of tokenizer and specifying some of the hyperparameters like randomness top p sampling all that stuff and from here this is where i already have specified my model above a tiny llama and then difficulty easy this i have seen that if you put a difficulty here it was giving an error so i have removed it but so you can use simply this line which we already have done above by the way and then from there you all you need to do is to just loop through this thing and it is going to evaluate this code on the model so let me run it and this will take bit of a time even though i have just specified three samples but of course that is not realistic it would be around 100 to 200 so this iterates through the data set uh, with the help of that model and then evaluate it of course you can do fine tuning training and a lot of other things what you do with the models on the data sets and this is going to give you some of the warnings but you can ignore them these are just hugging face related one because i haven't used any login or authentication and this is going to run for a long time so i will leave it as is for now this is a tiny llama model which i'm using and if i take you back to their github repo let's scroll a bit and above and if you want to really train and test this uh, taco data set i will hi highly suggest you git clone this repo just grab the link from here and then when you git clone it then look at this generation one so this is a function which i'm using that collab so here you can see that they are using the same code but they are using code llama here so you should be using any code function uh, but just because of size i have replaced it with the tiny llama one just to make it quicker but even then that would take a long time and this is a sample so i have re replaced this sample with sorry so i have replaced the sample with the uh, simply by three just to make it quicker so my model evaluation is still running and it will take long time as i said so i will just leave it as is and this is it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and um, now you know how to download the data set and use it in your model evaluation and you can use um, this code from here on from this github repo to not only generate it but also pre-tokenize it fine tune it train it and also few other steps which you can do with it and this is the beauty of open source you can simply use any other model or even any other data set with this code that's it uh, let me know your thoughts if you're stuck or if you're using any other cool data set please share it in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much